Hello everyone, today I'll be making a 4th of July icebox cake. I decided to make this recipe because today is the day before the 4th of July, so I thought I'd do something patriotic. An icebox cake is a no-bake cake, and it usually has some crisp cookies, and some whipped cream, and some sort of fruit or berries. The icebox cake was first developed in the 30s, and it was used to promote the icebox, or what we would call a refrigerator. For a recipe, we're going to need 3 cups of heavy cream, 1 third cup of confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a half a teaspoon of almond extract, which I have right here. And you're also going to need 20 to around 21 full sheets of graham crackers, not to be confused with the individual squares, of course. And we're also going to need 2 cups of sliced strawberries. Make sure to measure your strawberries after they're already sliced. And you're also going to need 1 cup of blueberries. First, we're going to make our whipped cream, and to do that, we're going to go ahead and pour our cream in a bowl. And we're also going to go ahead and pour in our extracts, and we're going to pour in our confectioner's sugar. And you can see there's some sort of chemical reaction happening now, it's kind of bubbling around the extracts in the milk. But that is very, very normal, and that's not nothing to worry about. Now we're just going to use our hand mixer to whip up our cream. Alright, our whipped cream is nice and ready now. As you can see, it just makes soft peaks that just kind of fold over like this. We don't want stiff peaks, so our whipped cream is absolutely done now. It's time to assemble our dessert now. First, we're going to start by applying a very thin layer of whipped cream to our dish. Alright, we got our thin layer of whipped cream, and I forgot to mention, this is just to help our graham crackers stick. So now we're just going to go ahead and lay down graham crackers. And now the next step is going to be to get some whipped cream. We're going to need about two cups of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure this out, because I'm not very good at eyeballing things. And we're just going to go ahead and dump this out and spread it over our graham crackers. Now we're going to go ahead and place strawberries on the top of our whipped cream. Now that it is topped with strawberries, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay down some more graham crackers. Now we're going to cover this layer on blueberries. Now that our top is covered in blueberries, we're going to go ahead and set some more graham crackers down. Our graham crackers are laid out now, so we're going to put the remaining whipped cream on top. Our dessert is now finished, so we're going to go ahead and let it set in the refrigerator for around 3 hours, and then we're going to take it out and decorate it. I just took our cake out of the refrigerator, and now I'm going to decorate it with a strawberry and a few blueberries on top. I just played our icebox cake, and I have to say it looks absolutely delicious, so let's see how it is. I love it! The graham crackers are nice and soft and crumbly, they're not so crunchy because they've been soaked by the whipped cream, and the whipped cream is very dense and very fluffy all at the same time, and I love the flavor. You can definitely taste the almond extract, and there's a little bit of vanilla, and I think that pairs really nicely with the fresh berries because they're super juicy and super fresh. And it is definitely something I highly recommend. It's so good. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to hit the like button. And also, make sure to subscribe and have a safe and happy 4th of July. Bye bye everyone!